thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to show you how to install a wood stove properly. Many people are starting to install wood stoves into their home. This is my second wood stove and this is an Ashley wood stove. It's actually model number AW2520E-P. I actually purchased it, purchased it from Lowe's um, and this wood stove here uh, it will heat up to, uh, I believe it's 2,500 square feet. Um, I can actually cook on the top of it. And so it's brand new. Originally, I was going to uh, have this wood stove right here. Very simple uh, situation. Go up straight, elbow it, and go straight into the wall. Because there's a chimney behind this, this wood stove right here in the wall. Well, I decided, you know, I want to have this thing inspected. I knew it was cleaned out good, but I just want to have it inspected. I wanted to have a camera run down there. I just didn't want to hook it up and possibly have a fire hazard. If you do not hook up your wood stove right, you have a fire inside your house, which can create a situation that can burn down your house. So it was very critical to me to make sure this chimney behind me was working properly. Now, very simple thing. I already had the pipe. Look, go straight up a little bit, elbow it in, straight into the wall. Simple, right? But when I decided to do this the right way to make sure, because safety is first, is that I called the company to have them come and run a light. I mean, excuse me, a camera. Camera with a light. A camera. Now, I had called other people. They did not run a camera. I still did not have peace I wasn't 100% sure that everything was okay with that chimney. I even called masonry. He said, oh, it's fine. This shifted just a little bit. No different. My grandpa. Yeah. Okay. So I did not have somebody else was going to install it. I could install it. Very simple, you know, but there was not 100% surety that this chimney was operating correctly. So I called Seaside Sweep. I asked them if they had a camera. They came out, they ran a camera down there, and found out that there was a problem. So much of a problem, I could not use that chimney. So much of a problem, it was creating a fire hazard to burn down my house. So today, we're going to show you how to properly install a wood stove. So now, it's not going to be going in the chimney. The roofer's coming. He's going to tear down that chimney and, you know, patch that place there, fix that. And the wood stove is going to be going vertically up. Now I've had in my last homestead the uh, wood stove that went vertically up, vertically up, and it was great. And it's really not that hard to do. But you want to make sure that when you're installing a wood stove, that you're not just, you know, you want to make sure you want to be 100% sure that you're doing it properly. Because if you don't have that pipe running right, then the it's not going to give a good air intake to drive that smoke out and it's create the smoke to come back out into your house. It's not going to burn right. And, you know, you could create a fire into your home because this is a fire in your home. So it's very critical that we put, um, make sure we do safety first, that uh, you've got your fire uh, wood stove hooked up right. Sorry, my burner just went off and it's probably the guys here to install this wood stove. So let me answer the phone and see you in a minute. I was gonna do it with my foot. It's kind of hard to do it. Those parents. Oh my. So what are you doing there? So basically what I'm doing, once I adjust it, is creating a hole I can see in the attic. And that I can now level where I need to be.
got the right spot. You see the clothes hanger? You see it? The clothes hanger? So what you gonna do now? Uh, I'm gonna cut out the um, block there in the ceiling, put the cathedral box in, make sure it fits, make sure we're not hitting any sort of uh, two by fours or anything like that. Make sure we have a clear path for chimney pipe to go out. Sounds good. What is that? Um, so it's just gonna be for uh, all the dust and everything that gets everywhere, so it doesn't make a mess. That'd be cool. Yeah, we have a. Uh, came blowing out of there. We'll look we have this one, and then we have a three motor vacuum for uh, chimney sweeps. Uh huh. For, like some of our bigger cleanups. Okay. And uh, that one definitely gets roaring, pretty loud. So it has the proper clearance as it goes through the ceiling. So that's, we'll so give him the drill bit. Alright, I got a spot where I can kind of. And then this piece, does this go in the top? What's the, what's the other way?
this up. Silicone. This side's gonna be set. How was it? Oh, pretty tough. <laughs> <laughs> So we should do 48 and um, 48 and a tel and a connector. Cool. All right. So we got the larger drill bit on. Joe, you got what? The large drill bit? No. All right. All right. Probably just because of. So yeah, if we screw that in nice and tight there. Because now we're not crazy, right? That's, it's a little to the side. We can worst case this whole thing can shoot a little bit. It over. Yep, absolutely. Should be a touch. Okay. Yeah, I, I tighten up that, that fluid collar. We'll get that in. Put this piece put this piece in here. And then um, well, we'll send it through and then it doesn't say Jake, but I'm sure. Chimney connector pipe to class. Down. Yeah, but it's that slides on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, so I got 59 and a, and a half here. That goes inside of that piece, right? Mm -hmm. All this is hidden. I mean, the part that scares me about it is in the roof. You got to be careful. You want to make sure so that you're, this nice you got your clearances yeah. met. You know, exactly. In the roof. Oh, so say that again, so everybody can hear that. You want to make sure that your clearances are properly met in the roof, around all your combustibles, anything where there's any type of wood. You want to make sure, make sure you maintain the uh, manufacturer's clearances. So we just have to scoot just. You guys want to should, we, should we tighten this one? No. And then, no, we can slide. Well, we got to slide the whole unit. Right there. Oh, it's got to be cool. Oh. Okay. 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 Uh, 
be it. This should be where Mama hides the cookies. Oh. All right, you're good to use this. in and this pipe's in now we're switching it to a, a class a pipe going through this attic out through the ceiling or through the ceiling through the attic through the roof so now what he's doing is just measuring for the line um, to cut the roof in the attic so we can do it now all we can get out of the attic and do it all from the roof now That's a pretty good point there. <clears throat> Got your damper. Okay, it looks nice and tight. Level. And then we're just to get the uh, top and finish it off. Say that again. We're going to work our way up to the roof. Um, so at this point, we're going to be installing the Class A chimney through the roof. Um, we'll put on a uh, metal flashing kit and then we'll put a storm collar on the top and you'll be all finished. Well, thank you very much. Sure. So right now we're working on the roof. It's a, it's a metal roof, so it's corrugated. We're cutting a uh, oversized hole for the chimney pipe to run through. And then we're gonna work our flashing into it. And then we'll seal it, put a storm collar on it, put our chimney cap on, and uh, you'll be waterproof and good to go. Good job. Thank you. RJ Henderson. This is Robert Henderson. We're the owner and operator of Henderson Roofing and Henderson Seamless Gutter. And um, we do all types of work from roofing, gutters. We do uh, pretty much anything exterior, whether it's framing out or building small additions, framing, um, building decks. Um, oh man, gutter work, uh, vinyl siding, a little bit of everything. Um, and we work out of the Wallace, Pender County, New Hanover County areas, um, willing to go anywhere. Um, and today we were uh, tearing a chimney down and uh, replacing the the metal and the decking the wood decking that was 
where the chimney was existing and um, we had to fix where the new uh, chimney was going. Awesome. Well, guys, I can recommend them. Uh, Mr. Henderson um, put on my this roof up here and I'll, I'll get a picture of it. And uh, he did an excellent job, so I would definitely recommend him. And um, what is your telephone number? 910-231-7068 uh, uh, and then 910-231-0682. And then to call the office is 910-285-5707. Uh, okay, say that again and go just a little bit slower. I'm sorry, I That's apologize. Okay. Um, for the gutter business, um, it's 910-7068. And for the office for the roofing business is 910-285-5707. And then for the, uh, to reach his cell phone will be 910-231-0682. Um, thank you guys so thank much. You. We thank, thank you, Mr. So uh, Henderson, for working me in. I appreciate it so much i mean i really do yes, i just love you so much i mean it's uh, just awesome you. to have people that you can count on that does quality work as a matter of fact the guys that's installing the um the wood stove um they said you did an excellent job on the flashing when they went up there and checked for that chimney to yeah. go ahead and inspect that chimney to see if it was you know operating yes, or would be able to operate and uh they said you did an excellent job and i thought that's what i want to hear because i think that's what was causing the leak around yeah, yeah. there but thank y'all so much and well, i hope y'all have a good evening thank you and this is my father Robert um, we are Henderson Roofing Service and Henderson Seamless Gutter and um, <laughs> um, what all do y'all do uh, we do mainly roofing and gutter but we do a little bit of everything from vinyl side and, vinyl siding and any other exterior work from facial board uh, doing soffit vinyl siding um, building doors. decks doing windows doors um, so how how so how far stretched out do y'all go in North Carolina? Um, is it just local? We usually try to stay in the Tri County area for the most part. Okay. Pender, New Hanover, Duplin, try to stay in that that area. We do go to Brunswick. We do, we do okay, good. Samson, Onslow. Uh, we're not picky. We go wherever we're called. To be honest with you. Okay, that's good. So guys, they did an excellent job on my roof. I can't get a, a good uh, shot maybe later on, but they did excellent. This is Mr. Henderson and his son, and I have would definitely recommend them to anybody. If you want excellent quality work, these are your men. Thanks guys, I appreciate you, so, thank you much. so much. Thank oh, you. and what, and they are also, what are y'all doing today? Um, oh, we uh, had to tear down a chimney, um, resheet the deck in the, around it, um, cause I guess you're getting a new heater. Correct. And we're gonna flash around whenever they get done doing their part of uh, the chimney guys get done doing their part. Okay guys, stay tuned and we'll see you soon.
thing. My name is Rodrigo Martinez and uh, we do some painting and uh, pressure washing around the uh, Wilmington area and uh, all the way around in this area. And what is your telephone number? 910-512-5655. Uh, okay. And it, his telephone number also will be down in the description. So what are you doing today? We are finishing up the wood stove. Right, we're at the very end of it. Yeah. And so, Seaside Sweep called you in to finish up this touch. So, what are you doing now? Uh, we just uh, seal all this uh, around this little heat and then we're going to fix the little bit of ceiling. And, and that'll be it. Yeah. All right, well, we thank you so much for coming. And, guys, thank you so much. Leave a comment below, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you on to the next video. Yes, we got a uh, six six bracers over there. Okay. Yeah. So tell tell the people what you're doing now. Uh, we are actually we brace the uh, ceiling, and then now we just. Uh, Reforce it, put it back, and then just uh, kind of spackle those holes. And okay, wonderful. So tell them what what um what he's doing. Uh, he's trying to match the uh, texture on the ceiling. That way it looks kind of same. Same. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. 